Maybe being so single-minded and competitive is a bit unreasonable, but if that's true, then so be it. Surfing has become a serious sport. You really can't afford to slip up. You need to make sure you, you know, eating right, you're training hard. You know, surfers will become stronger athletes and train as hard, if not harder than any other athletes in the world. And that'll lead us to see bigger airs, more powerful turns and aerials that we only ever dreamed of. The competitions in the future will look a little bit different as well. It's come from four waves to three waves, now it's two waves. You know, who's to say it won't go to one wave? Your very best ride, that'll eliminate everyone. Maintaining, getting the score, push them to throw everything out on the table and go for it. In the sport of surfing, it's growing so fast that you can never count any country out. We could see a guy from Russia, or we could see people from China, we could see anybody. All depends on, on how far that person wants to take it. I don't think it matters where you're from. My father, you know, being a, a surfboard shaper and myself growing up in the shaping bay, I honestly couldn't tell you where surfboard design is going to go. Everyone thought that twin fins was, was it until Simon Anderson brought out the thruster. Guys are riding bigger waves than ever. Guys are landing far 40s with no straps on. I guarantee you 10 years ago they would have told you that is absolutely impossible. Wave pools, they're a definite thing, you know, for the future. It's just about whether they can get the consistency right, whether that be the wave. In the near future, we'll see an incredible wave pool that will offer a lot of differences. Where will it go? I think that anything will be possible. No matter what the future brings, I'm going to be putting my best foot forward so that I can inspire others. Want other kids to froth out and go surf. <laughs>